Hello and welcome. I haven't done a YouTube video in a while, so I'm glad to be back at that. Today I'm going to show you how I made this frame. This is so cool. I made it at my friend Kim's house. We made this, let me turn it around here, we made this kind thanks card. And this can be, this is such a universal card. I love it. I will probably be using it a lot because I love this cute frame. I made one, in fact two different colors, for Christmas. We're going to do it on at my club meeting. And I'm going to do the cranberry, or I should say, the cherry cobbler version, but I'm going to add in this border down here um, instead of the ribbon. So let's get started. You're going to need a piece of paper, mine is cherry cobbler, and it's four and a fourth by five and a half. And the first thing we're going to do is run it through the big shot to get that pattern paper on the back. I don't know how much of this you can see. Let's see here. Put this around. You're going to have it on tab A. And turn it this way. And we're going to be using the Petals of Plenty embossing folder, which looks like this. To me, it's flowers, or it kind of reminds me of poinsettias. So, I'm going to put that in there, and of course, I forgot something. Okay, I'm back. I forgot the plates. I always forget my plates for some reason. You want to sandwich it between the two plates, have it on tab A, and then you're going to run it through. Oh, I can find space here. All right, there we go. Set my big shot on the floor. And it makes a gorgeous impression. Embossed flowers. Oh, I love it. Okay. Then I'm going to work on this base. And when I work on the top of the card, I'm going to eventually put it on just a very vanilla card that folds into the four and a fourth by five and a half. So okay, the first thing I'm going to do is make this scallop, which is using this punch, the dotted scallop ribbon border. And this piece of paper is one by four. And I'm going to line it up here even. I'm going to cut the middle part first. Because I want my scallop to be even on both sides as possible. And then I'm going to line, I like to line this up on the, there's a little design here. I like to line it up there and punch it again. And then we're going to line it up over here and punch this side. So then I have my little ribbon, which you can use just as a ribbon. The first thing I'm going to do is put the trim on the back of my pattern paper, like so. I'm going to use the front of the Jolly Holiday Designer Series paper. So I need to put a, some snail on the back. I just put the ribbon down and then I line this up the best that I can. There we go. And that's my trim. And then I'm going to just put snail on the rest of it and adhere it to my card. I'm going to put it at the top this time. There we go. So then I have the bottom done. Now I'm going to work on the frame. You're going to need a three by three piece of paper, cardstock, and you're gonna get this dotted scallop ribbon border back. And you're going to line this up in the middle of where it's in the middle. Looks like for this one that's on the very edge, you can kind of see when you're working on it, where the middle is. And then once you have the middle, you punch it down. And then you turn it and you do it the same place. So you line it up in the middle. And you punch it down. Then you turn it again. Line it up in the middle. Punch it. And then one more time. That 
One more time. Here we go. And that's how you get your frame. That is so cool. I love it. I'm going to throw these little itty bitty pieces away. Okay. Then this piece that goes inside of your frame is one and a fourth. Let me see. No, one and three fourths by one and three fourths. And it's just going just gonna to sit right in the middle there. So we're going to decorate this. I am using crumb cake ink with the Baroque motifs swirl. I really like this. I'm just going to ink this up. I'm going to do it the opposite way. And I'm going to do a second generation stamp where I stamp it off once and then I'm going to stamp it on my card like so. So it's not so dark. Then I need to get my Peace, Love, and Joy exactly where I want it. And to do that, I'm going to use my stamp -a jig which I love, love, love my stamp -a jig If you don't have a stamp -a jig I don't know how you stamp without it. Um, if you have some rubber stamps. So the first thing you're going to do with your stamp -a jig is put that up in the corner, ink up your stamp, press it right down. It makes an impression on the little plate. And you take your piece of paper you're going to use, you put it back where you want it, you line this stamped image over the paper where you want it, put your guide in there, take the stamped image away, stamp down, it should be exactly where you want it. Love it, love it, love it, every time. It's perfect. And that is from the All Holidays stamp set. So then, I usually like to do a line around with, um, I'll just take an old olive marker because I used old olive ink, and I just do a line to give it kind of a border with my marker. Okay, then I glue that on my frame. Next is to set the brads. So I have this and my paper piercer. Just going to put a hole in each one of the corners. Put in my brads. I love the vintage brads or you know even on the cherry cobbler with the cherry cobbler frame I used copper which I don't use that often but I kind of like that little pink copper brad. Okay there's my frame. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back where the brads are. those down. Get my card base on the front here. Line this up in the middle. And then I'm just going to put that on the front of my card. Here's the big shot with the petals of plenty. It might shrink the paper just a smidge. If it does, once you put it on your paper, on your base, then you can just cut off that little part of the card and it looks like it might do it again. It did it for me the last time. And I'm just gonna take a paper, a really good paper trimmer scissors, and I'm just gonna cut that bottom part off. And no one will know it's not exactly four and a fourth by five and a half and it'll fit in the envelope. But that when you run that through the big shot, that shrinks that paper just a little bit because it pulls it up. So I'm look at I'm gonna trim a little bit more out here. So there you go. You can make this for any holiday, birthday, um, Thanksgiving, 
whatever, this little frame, if you can fit the image in this little frame, it is perfect. And there was the original one that we did at my friend's house. So, thanks for joining me, and happy stamping. Have fun creating. Bye-bye.